Hey guys, it's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Welcome to a brand new series, Talking Table Tennis. In today's episode, we have the latest ITTF new rule, different color rubbers. I have some here with me. Let's go. Yes guys, what's going on? So as you're all aware, last month at the ITCF AGM, these bad boys got approved. It means now in table tennis, you can have different color rubbers on your bat, which is an absolute game changer. So the rule is on one side of your bat, it has to be black and the other side could be any color you'd like. So here we have a pink one, blue, neon green. And I was really impressed. Initially, I was thinking, oh, I'm not too sure about this. However, when they've come in the post, I'm impressed with how well they actually look. For example, I know back in the 80s, earlier on before that, they had green rubbers. And if you look here, it's quite dull. If you compare it to the new green versions, it's a lot more brighter. You know, it's quite pleasing to the eye. Whereas this is, you know, dull. And this did get banned in 1985. Big thanks to Matt Salt for sending me this, the guy behind all the stats behind table tennis. So cheers, Matt, for that. And yeah, and a big thanks to the ITTF in sending me these rubbers to, you know, look at them and discuss with you guys today about what they're like. So the reason why the ITTF have implemented this new rule change is to try and build the visual attraction of the sport really you know hopefully kids will find it more interesting and it will just look more pleasing to the eye on tv so this is them and this is what we have here so guys let's see what some table tennis pros and figures had to say about the new color rubber change what are your thoughts on the rubbers new rubbers on the top sheet different colors fantastic yeah <laughs> you actually think so why not yeah nice. different color everything else so why not rubbers so you think this will be a good thing for table tennis? You know, pink on the forehand? Might be interesting. Yeah. I, I really don't know, I mean... Have you seen this yet? Yeah? I've seen you post about it. Uh, yeah. It's been, um, been approved this week. Is it? Makes more money for the manufacturers so they can sell different, the same rubber in many different colours. I might start making my own rubbers in different colours. Yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah, that's probably a very boring response. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Have you seen this picture before? Yes. Yes. What, what do you think of this? I think it's really not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea for for the players because we change almost everything. We change rubbers, we change glue, we change the ball. And one more time, change rubbers will be not so not so good for players. And also, I think it's so much important other stuff for for, for us, also for the spectators and. Uh, I don't know, better conditions, maybe for the players better price money and okay a lot of stuff and so will be will be not so a good idea. So that's a no for me. For me totally no. So guys that's what the pros had to say. Let's see what the locals say at my local club down the road. So we're at the local. John, these are coming into Tailsness. Pink, green, different sponges. You seen it before? No, I haven't seen them before. But Sports. I want pink on my back. Oh he likes it. So you would actually go, you wouldn't go for red and black, you would actually change? Yeah, I'd change. I, I'd either go green or pink. Yeah, nice. I think pink would intimidate my opponents. It would, there we go guys. You're for it then? Yeah. All for it. All for it. Check this out dude, check this out. This is news, news just in. Yeah. In 2020, these rubbers are coming out. What do you think of it? Initial reaction? It's gonna be uh, interesting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. You can always have black on one side, yeah. and you can change the colour. You're right, you've seen the news. I've seen the news. <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird to see this in person. It, isn't it strange, yeah? You got, this is going to confuse the hell out of people, the pink one especially. It, exactly. The bright colours. No. Will you change? Will you, will you, are you for it or not? He's not. So weird. So weird, yeah? yeah? Not for it. So, we've got someone who doesn't approve. Dom. Thoughts, Dom? Uh, Green, yeah. pink, blue. I quite like green, green's nice. Yeah? If you're colour blind, it won't make any difference, will it? That's true. Red, green, uh, pink. Not fan. Do you think you see lots of girls playing with that? Potentially. It's very sexist, isn't it? <laughs> you know, can't I imagine don't know. a man wanting to play with it. John's all, for the, John's all for the pink one. Is he? Wow. I love the pink one. <laughs> 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 you for it or not? Yes or no? Green. Give me a yes or no. Yeah, I quite like the other colours. Alright. Yeah, I quite like so that. So we for it? Yeah, yeah, why not? Another one. Wow. 
Mr. Kinlock, aka Tiny Kin on TableThinsDaily.com. What you thinking? Um, Are you for this or not? Mark? Unfortunately, I'm old enough to remember when my first bat was. Oh, not this awful. Oh, <laughs> <beginning. laughs> yeah, but you know. Okay, another one you're on about. We actually we have to talk about in this video. Butterfly D13. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Before Shriver, you're for it. <laughs> yeah. You're for no the color change. Yeah. So you you will use a green. Old guys like me, green. Trendy. <laughs> Love it. Nice one, Mark. Yeah, guys, check this out. 2020, love you'll be able that. to use different colour rubbers. That What's your thinking? Good. I love that. I love that. <coughs> love the yeah, pink yeah, one. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. No more black and green. red. Yeah. Green one's good, yeah. Mm. We're getting some good positive vibes in this building. Definitely, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, can't be colour shy. Exactly. <laughs> colour shy. Love it, guys. Enjoy your training. Yeah, yeah. Are you for it or not? I am for it, even though I wouldn't personally use it, and I think it's a distraction. Okay, but you're for it, you approve. I approve, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think. So there are a lot of mixed opinions and interesting comments on the new rubber color change. Now I'm gonna head over to the T3D studio with Tom to play with these rubbers, see what it looks like in action, and see what Tom has to say. How are we doing, Tom? Good, good, very okay, good. good. Not sure if you saw the stuff online, the leaked pictures of the different rubber colors. Yeah, I have seen a few, yeah. Whoa. Thoughts? Wow, very different. It's different, isn't it? Strange. So it'll always be black on one side. Okay, like Then normal. you can then choose a blue, pink, green. Wow, pink one. My favorite's definitely the blue one. Blue's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Having said that, I don't know. I'm not sure about these wild different colors. And for me, it, make, it does make the sport look a little bit less professional. Maybe mm. that's just because what I'm used to, the black and red. Um, I think kids would like it. Yeah, that's like some, think, yeah, yeah. Some, you know, maybe girls with a pink, and maybe boys too, who knows? So you don't think you'll see this like a world championships and it will look, it will look quite odd? I think, personally, I think it would look strange. I'm not sure the top players will buy into having all different crazy colors. Maybe some would. Um, I don't know, I personally just, maybe I'm used to the black and red. I think it looks more just standard, smart, professional. I think it looks, could make the sport look a bit cheap and Almost amateurish, in my mm. opinion. Interesting opinions, yeah, and, and a lot of different people are thinking the same. It's all mixed opinions at the moment. Should we have a get quick play? I'm interested to see what it's like, just what it looks like visually when we're playing. Yeah, with let's it. give it a go. It'll be quite interesting. Pink rubber. I'll go for my green. To be honest, when you're playing with that pink one, it looks like a red one because of the shadow. It makes <laughs> it look darker, and it just looks like a red one to me. Okay, what about the blue? Oh yeah, the blue's different. The problem I got now is it's blending in with the table. That's interesting. Quite weird visually. I think it's just adapting to it though, really. Yeah, it's quite similar to the table colour, your blue rubber. Can we try it? Well, it is weird. See? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Really, I could really throw you off. One blue, one pink. One blue, one pink. Yeah, the pink, the pink <laughs> does look like a red. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What about the green one? Green quite nice, yeah? Green I don't notice too much. It's, it almost looks black. Really? Yeah, when you turn it, when you close your angle down, like, when you're not slapping like that, when you close your <laughs> angle down and, and go for a spin, it looks dark, like almost like black. Yeah. Interesting. Let's try the blue. Uh, 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 yeah. So there we go guys, that's what it looks like to play with different colour rubbers and it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out over the next few years. This will be available after Tokyo Olympics, yeah. so until then no colour rubbers will be in place, but yeah. Good to hang out today Tom. Yeah, good stuff. Catch you soon. So there you have it, that's what the rubbers look like to play with. I had to say it was quite interesting at the beginning, it looked a bit weird, but you soon get used to it. I do think at the start there's going to be a lot of mixed opinions amongst the people in table tennis. Some players are going to really like it and some I think we'll generally hate it quite a lot, but I think we will get used to it eventually and it'll become a normal thing. I've got to say, I do think the kids are going to find it very interesting. The younger generation coming through, they'll think it's quite cool. I can change the colour of my rubber, my bat, and so that, that's where I really do see the advantage. It's going to be interesting to see how manufacturers cope with all the different colour rubbers. You know, will they, you know, will you be able to buy one rubber with 10 different colours or will a manufacturer have one specific colour per brand? we be interested to see what they do and yeah, this will be around after the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and it's quite exciting times. So guys, be sure to let us know in the comments below what you think of this new rubber colour change 
Do you like it? Do you not? Let us know in the comments. Love to discuss it with you. And as always, guys, be sure to subscribe, smash the like button. Thanks for watching.